everybody. Welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. The Penguins are playing their second game in as many nights, but they're at home. Does that help? It does a little bit because, of course, you don't have to deal with the travel. You drive from home, you get to the rink, but you might use a different goalie. You're going to stretch out your bench, and I don't think that matters home or away. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Blue Jackets start with possession as we are now underway. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. Couldn't find the intended target. Here's a short pass to Crosby. And now he moves it to Gensel. Breakaway! Great stop by the goaltender. Positioning and quickness. That's the day right there. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. He might have a step here. To the low slot. Huge stop on the breakaway. Oh, you don't get many of these. He's right in on goal, but the goalie's better. Good check. Freeze the puck up. Moves it to Gensel. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Fantastic save. And the puck goes out of play. We'll get a face-off after that save. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. The Blue Jackets win it in the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. The Penguins have the puck now. Quick pass to Rust. Stones him on the play. Puck grabbed by Savard. Gains the zone from the right side. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Columbus takes possession along the wall. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Loses his balance on the play. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Pittsburgh's moving it along the wing. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Moves it quickly over to Savard. Moves it up through the middle from the right. And now he angles it across to Savard. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Aston Reese works the puck in his own zone. Strong defensive effort. Chance in front. They score! The Penguins are scoring tonight! Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. got the position that every coach loves, the lead. Then you can use your bench, then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you. You've got a little bit of a cushion with a one goal lead. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Couldn't catch up to that pass. There's the whistle icing the call. Latang's name on this list is of no surprise. Always a very aggressive player. Time of the goal. Here in the back half of this period, the Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. Mulkins won the faceoff. Simple detail, win the draw, you can get out of the zone. Fails to find the open man. Columbus looks to break out in their own end. And he connects with the long bomb. You saw the lane there, James, that's a good pass. He scores! They tie it up! They've been working hard to get this game back to level. And that goal will do it.
It's really good puck work here as they move it around. The opening is for the guy in the low slot. But he's by himself, and he's able to one-time at home. The centermen glide into position. The Blue Jackets win the draw here in the neutral zone. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Puts the puck on net, denied by the goaltender. Take possession off the faceoff. Columbus gains a hold of it. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Here's a blast. That's a solid check on the play. Offside is the call. It will have a faceoff just outside the offensive zone. Some jerseys, shirts, hats, and other collectibles. The Penguins win it. Taken by Ricola. Comes up with the steal. Takes the pass. Rocked him in the open ice. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. He scores! They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Blue Jackets get a little breathing room here as they lead by one in the first. They talked about getting off to a good start in the first period. Now that they've got the lead, they'll want to build off it. Puck picked up by Ricola. And he takes a shot, steps in front of that one. And he stands tall in goal. Quick feed to Jones. Moves the puck. Players tell us all the time that they don't know where the next milestone is. That's garbage. They know when they're one goal away from a plateau. I think he's looking for it here. Here's a short pass to Jankowski. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop by DeSmith. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Zucker. And here comes the pushback. Here we go. James, I was really good at this. Not the fight part. I mean the first part where someone else comes in and fights for you. <laughs> oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. trying to give their team a little bit of a jump here but the away team's not going to like the way that one turned out both teams lined up in the face-off circle after the ice was finally decluttered moments ago Crosby's won the draw here in the neutral zone the Blue Jackets have it behind the net. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. And now it's over to Domi. Cutting to the front of the net. Moves it to Koivu. Takes the puck at the point. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. And they fail to go tape to tape. Well, that'll do it for period number one. Opportunities at both ends of the ice create a little bit of offense. Fun start here. Join our fan club and receive a membership card. Discounts on team merchandise and team ringtones, as well as email notifications. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause.
Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. The Penguins win the faceoff. And now it's grabbed by Dubois. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Dishes it to Gensel. The Blue Jackets pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes it and looks ahead. Dubois got it against the boards. Tries to get it to Gensel. Move to the middle, and that pass is intercepted. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. The Blue Jackets gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Jones is on the attack, and they can connect. Picked up along the boards, blazing in on the breakaway. Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot, doesn't execute it. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Couldn't connect on that pass. Grabbed along the boards by Felino. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Takes the feed. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Dubois rolling along on his point streak. You know he wants it to keep going. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've got a 2-1 game. The Blue Jackets win possession here in the open ice. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Quick pass to Rust. Rips it. Great stop by Merzlikens. Scooped up along the wall by Pedersen. Denies him again. Sharp reaction save. Even though that puck is delivered with great velocity, that looked like a pretty easy stop for the goalie to make. The Penguins have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but they continue to trail here in the second. Columbus with a big defensive zone faceoff. McCann's working it around in the corner. That's not going to fool him. Savard's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And let's see what the call is. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. It would be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. Here he is, takes the shot, comes up with the glove save. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Columbus has it in their own end. Slides the puck across to Jenner. Takes it to the net. Pittsburgh's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. Columbus gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Passes it to Jenner. The Blue Jackets take it across the line. The Penguins grab possession to the puck, and they manage to clear it. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. This power play hasn't had a chance to really get much set up. They can't get into the zone with any consistency. Now they're back and they got to start again. He got rocked. That hurts me. What a solid hit. Wow. Felino's on the attack in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Koivu. And he makes the save. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. They try to get it off the glass with no luck. Uh, the glass is 10 feet high, James. Shoot it off the top of it and get it down the ice. Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Aston Reese wins possession in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. Quick feed to Dubois. Handles the puck. Takes it right in the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play.
and sneaks in and grabs possession. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Quick glove hand here, he gets the glove out to make the stop. Power play is over, both teams back to even strength. Well, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done, the power play expires. Can't maintain possession. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Merzlikens. A sellout crowd here tonight, and they have brought the noise here once again. Yeah, they're here to have fun. They want to see some goals. They want to see this team continue to play an entertaining brand of hawk. And that sells, doesn't it? It sells all the time. This is what it's about. It's entertainment. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. And they can't convert to the play. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Ricola. The Penguins looking against the half wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Looking to set up offensively. Good hit to bump him off the puck. That's broken up in the neutral zone. That's moved up ahead. And he coughs it up with the pass. Here's a chance on the doorstep. And that's picked off in front. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Slides the puck to Ricola. Pittsburgh's got it now. Here's a short pass to Rust. Came up with the save on that play. Merzlikens has kept this game close. I don't know if it would be this way if it wasn't for his heroics in goal. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Columbus is in the driver's seat. They lead it 2-1 in what has been a very spirited affair. Shuts him down. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. The Blue Jackets gain possession along the wall. Snaps it on net. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Denies him. He got all of it. And there's the whistle. Tells you a side that it's probably a pretty hard shot. It has to be to bounce out of play that quickly, but the goalie didn't even catch up to it. The Smith's always a battler, and here he makes a great save on this chance. Pittsburgh's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. And momentum on their side is off the post and in! Great shot. The goalie thinks he's got this angle covered, and I guess he's got most of it, but it hits the inside of the post and goes in. The defensive team can't get control of the puck off this face-up. It ends up into the shooter's hands, and he beats the goaltender. The Penguins got new life on the bench. You can see as they even things up in the late stages of the second. Where I'm standing, it's pretty easy to tell that they've just scored really a lot of excitement. Now the game is tied as we have just a few minutes left in this middle frame. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Puck grabbed by Aston Reese. He scores! What a goal! That's just a minute between goals. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Penguins leap ahead by one in the late stages of this second period. Well, you can be happy that you have the lead, but you still have to remain focused here for the last little bit of this middle frame. And nearing the final minute of the second, that's blocked by DeSmith. Columbus takes possession along the wall. Nice zone entry from the right side. From the point, looks to make something happen. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Another stop by the goaltender. Malkin's offensive game is varied. He can score, he can pass, he creates for others, but he doesn't need much time to deliver his shot. 
He's among the league leaders in points because of that. Pittsburgh's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Period number two is in the books. There's been no shortage of offense tonight. It's time for our hamburger bonanza. If the home team scores in the next two minutes, you can get a free hamburger courtesy of our arena. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Getzel's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Latang. Move to the middle. Here's a shot. Comes up with a stop. Quick pass to Wierenski. Picked up along the wall by Felino. Moves it quickly over to Gensel. And that one's broken up. The Penguins have it in the offensive zone. Taken by Wierenski. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Puck picked up by Kapanen. His reflexes on display tonight. But he came out and challenged a good save. Quick feed to Latang. And he totally whiffs on that one. The Blue Jackets have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Dubois. Move to the middle. He scores! Aye, aye, captain! Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Takes the saucer pass. Couldn't complete the play. Savard's lugging the puck. Receives the pass. The Penguins have it against the wall. Moves it to Rust. And now he tries to get it across to Malkin. The Blue Jackets take possession here in the open ice. Puts it in deep. Now a quick pass to Rust. No one home on that play. Here he is in front. Big save. Big stop by the keeper. Along the half wall with the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Pittsburgh's got it across the line. Sends it over. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Lowers the boom with that hit. Taken along the wall by Domi. Handles the puck at the point. Off his stick. Denies him on the slopper. And now it's grabbed by Ricola. Smart defensive play there. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Denied by the goaltender. First, Lickens decides that it's time to breathe for a moment here. For him or for his team. He's been busy tonight, and in a close game, you want to make sure that you're focused in on the next play. Winnipeg's up next on the schedule. Always a tough test, it feels like, in this league, isn't it? Yeah, the prep will go once you get past this current game. Some guys don't want to know who's next. Some guys want to know everything in advance. And now he moves it to Jenner. Big hit! Well, he's going to have to pick himself up, but then he's got to go get his twig, which is slid all the way over there before he can get back into play. And now he moves it quickly to Robinson. And that one's stolen at center ice. Play whistled dead because of an offside. Malkin's among the league leaders in plus minus. I got to be honest with you, James, this was a list I didn't get on very often. Past the halfway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Good job tangling up his opponent here. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. 
grabs control of it at the point. Puck scooped up by Wierenski. Robinson's carrying it ahead to his teammate. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And a great heads-up defensive play here. Hammers a shot, and he comes up with it. First, Lickens decides to cover it up for the whistle. I don't mind this. The game's tight, and you want to make sure that the decisions you make are the right ones. Too tough to make up a bad error now. Getting into the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. The Penguins win the faceoff. Oh, I think he wants that one back. Didn't miss it by much. He gets lots on and beats the goaltender, but just wide. Unable to reach that one. Picked up along the boards by Matheson. And he regains control of the puck. Great poke check on the reach. And that carries off a stick. Hangs onto the puck. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Tries to feed it over to Matheson. No room for that one to get through. And now he angles it across to Dubois. Coughs it up at center. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. Tosses it on to Aston Reese. And that pass goes awry. Quick pass to Aston Reese. All alone! Oh, a clutch stop on the breakaway! If you're ahead, the clock never moves. If you're behind, it looks like it's racing. Scores! The go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. Good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Penguins, as they make their way back to the face-off circle, feeling a little bit better about themselves with a one-goal lead. Now you can see the finish line and how you get there is really going to determine what happens here? I say stay aggressive. Try and get another one. Tries to get the puck to Crosby. The Blue Jackets move to the offensive zone. Columbus gains control of the puck. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Move to the middle. Levels him with the hit. Moves it quickly over to Atkinson. Can't find his man. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Feeds it on over to Gensel. A chance to end it. Misses the net. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Dubinsky. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Look out, a two-on-one. Puts it wide. Yeah, I know he's looking for the perfect shot. He's going to be disappointed that he didn't get it on the cage. He was locked in there. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. The Penguins are living up to that old cliche. When you're hot, you're hot. Doesn't seem to matter how the game goes if they have a bad portion in it. They turn it around, and they're able to get themselves back towards the direction they need to play. Another win. Well, another W and another salute to the fans. Yeah, you better salute them. These are the people that come and pay the tickets to come and watch you play, and they want to have some fun, too. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.